What up, my peeps? Welcome back from Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Last time, we caught... <clears throat> uh... The Lieutenant? Brother! He ran away like a sissy little bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> and he dropped the infobot to... The Blog Technical Research Station. This time, we're not gonna do that quite yet. We're gonna check out the other mission and then we're gonna be on our way. All right, so I guess we're gonna connect this bridge for now. And yes, there's a reason why I'm holding off on getting that, getting that Club of Doom, even though I recommend you get it. If I can. Okay. There is actually something pretty... Pretty interesting here. And it involves actually shooting down some of those vehicles. Or not necessarily vehicles, but more so air tools. There we go. I, I, okay, there we go. I got one of them. I'm gonna shoot down specifically five. Because if we do just that. Okay, that's three. Right to if this were a um, trophy, it, it would make sense because I don't see any. I don't see why you would think to do this. I, I, I could have shot it while I was up there. Come on, little chainsaw. Come on. Chainsaw, come down here, please. Come down here. There you go, got it. That makes four. Alright, now these guys are sawbots, which are, again, kind of pathetic if uh, you can't use your saw to uh, beat my wrench. And that was really stupid of me! Wow, whacking explosive crate with my wrench. Yeah, what did I, th what did I expect to happen? Oh well, there's another attack right there, so it's not that big a deal. Okay, so our fifth vehicle should be right over here. Or getting miss horribly, that, that works too. That works too. Normal aim! <clears throat> what? what? Curse for us five. Is it more than five? The first four five was a magic number. Maybe it was ten. Maybe I'm confusing for another game in the series? I don't know. Alright, these guys are just simply block troopers. Yeah, this has got basic guns that... Again, not too terribly threatening. This would be an excellent place to use the, um, the Glove of Doom, but I don't need it. Also, you're, you need to sharpen your axes to cut. Oh, excuse me for shooting down your precious tools. It's like, oh no, you're not gonna bring guy equipment anymore! <laughs> because Borgs clearly sound like that. <laughs> okay, I think that should be seven at this point. There we go! Skill point! Yeah! B. 
be a good bomber. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful skill point. <clears throat> An actually worthwhile trophy. This is a skit that I miss. You know, like, having trophies that actually mean something and not just based on progress. This is, th these are the days that I miss when it comes to that. Because otherwise you're just having achievements for the sake of having achievements and that's not good. Wait, where do you think you're going, buddy? Alright, so I guess I'll do the bomb glove here and... Now, I can actually get my, um... My other weapons some time to shine. So I'll go ahead and just whip all the blaster and use that a bit more. Besides, ammo for that weapon is pretty cheap. And to make sure we have all these Gatron crates scattered around, so I really should be using my Gatron arms a bit more. Hey, buddy. Never take your axe to a gunfight. Again, the blaster is not exactly the best thing to take care of. To take care of the bomb troopers. Alright, so go down here. Crank that in, lower the platform. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of why I wanted to wait on this mission because of just how long it's taken. Granted, my shenanigans didn't help much, but hey. Okay, these are the large X X bots. And yeah! You're kind of seeing why I didn't bother with the Club of Doom. For whatever reason, of these Gadgetron crates, yeah, they will give you Club of Doom ammo, whether you have it or not. Yeah, I don't know why it does this, to be perfectly honest with you. It's kind of a small little glitch. It's... It's... I don't know. It's it's still kind of funny that they, that they do that. It's like it's only these specific crates that do that, and honestly, I don't get it. <clears throat> but whatever. Let's get rid of the larger axe bots. Which honestly, these guys are kind of pathetic. <clears throat> Not quite so pathetic if you're doing a wrench only challenge. But they kinda are. Which it is indeed possible to do this with only the wrench. I commend anyone who can do that. Alright, now here we have three or X spots right over here. X spots right over here. I guess we'll go and break these guys down. Thank you for your money. I know this can be very excellent to use. Meet the Suck Cannon! <clears throat> suck Cannon is very, very good. Ah, very sucky. <laughs> okay. That title is excellent. And you stole my pun! The thing with the suck cannon is not to die.
Now, the thing with the suck cannon is you take smaller enemies, you fit them inside the barrel, and you fire them back out as high caliber missiles. This is an excellent weapon. It takes no ammo to actually use it. But what's actually sweet about this is the ammo for this particular weapon are the smaller enemies themselves. Yeah. <clears throat> it only works with smaller enemies in particular. But hey. It's still a pretty good weapon all the same. So, there you go. Whether if you're playing along, this is what it should look like. You should have two of the three there. I, damn it, I did not mean to back out of there. <coughs> you should have exactly three out of four gold bolts there. You should have all three. Can have one. Option the Nebula G34. Let's do this. Hey, Trek, I'm here. Can I get a job? <laughs> yeah, like you were seriously hire someone like me. <laughs> Alright, no. Options, options. Where to go? <clears throat> hmm. I could take this shuttle. I could bypass the field. I could pick that invince a lot. I don't know. Hmm. I'm taking the shuttle. <laughs> Cause this takes us to the warship. And for whatever reason, when we dock here, there is an explosive phase that goes off. Yeah, I don't quite get it. But you know, it's whatever. <clears throat> and in here, we get the Blarg Space Commando. I'll leave it alone for a little bit so I can show you exactly what it's capable of. But what's also kind of strange is the fact that we have horny toads here in the space station of all places. Yeah, that's kind of odd. What they do is just have a kind of vacuum motion flamethrower. Kind of wish we had that. In Get out of here! We're not gonna have you shout profanity at us. That's my job, you understand? If anyone will fucking shout profanity, it is I! Uh, I don't know why I progressively sounded more co congested there, but who knows? <clears throat> There's also space aliens. That is actually what they call just standard space aliens. These guys look pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. Just look at them. Just 
Get out of here, man. You look cool, but I'm gonna have to kill you. Sorry. Once we've taken out the space aliens, and I'm gonna need to patch myself up after that poor performance. Oh my god. Okay, get me some bolts here. And you know, you know something? <clears throat> that giant red button looks compelling. We're gonna be a naughty boy and press the button. Thank you for selecting our automated self-destruct feature. Vessel annihilation sequence initiated. Please remove all personal belongings. Yeah, self-destruction. We got to basically just GTFO. There are going to be some aliens here to get in our way. But what I recommend doing is just run past them. Use the bombs to stun them, or if, in my case, kill them. <clears throat> and we are out. Scratch one, bargain worship. This is Darla Grass reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Cork will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship, which will be held here over the next few days. In related news, this planet has recently been suffering from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Starlegrass, Channel 2 News. Did you see that? Yes, that poor woman is all right. Ah, uh, she's fine, I think. I was talking about the hoverboard races. Ugh, poor girl there, just... Ouch. <clears throat> Also, DJ Glitch, say hi to your waifu. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> With that, we are gonna end things off. Next time, we are gonna be finishing things up here in the blog station, because, well, there's still more to do here. See you guys then. And more gadgets to claim. Thank you, Chairman Trek. Now, excuse me, I must go find my smokes. Seriously, never smoke.